you guys. All right, and please get your questions ready if you have if you have uh, if you have one after the talk. So, where are some of the ways through which you can generate leads right now? One of the ways through which you can get new business is your audience. Somebody say your audience. Come on now, somebody say my audience. My audience. Somebody say my audience. My, my audience. audience. My audience. So, so something happened to me last week. The people that follow me on social media alone last week, right? God is my witness. The DM referrals they gave to me. In other words, a company says, so somebody that follows you said I should call you that you should you can do this training for us was over a millionaire. What did I say? What did I say? The referrals alone from my audience was over 1 million naira. So I began to realize that, ah, one of the ways through which I can distribute myself is through my audience. And of course, everybody who referred me to a business, immediately the client paid, I sent them money. I begged them to give me their account number. So that was fun for all of them. You know, if you, they say they say that way you they chop now you they they say that way they walk now they chop a not be workshop they talk um, Eugene. <laughs> Everybody who referred me to somebody, they got paid. God is my witness. Everybody. Now, did I ask them to do the referral for me? No. The only reason why they did the referral was because in their brain. Two things happen. One, they believe that I am competent. That's one. Two, I am in their face. So when the opportunity comes up, they have no choice but to remember the only person who is frequent in their consciousness. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Hmm. Oh, then they talk to me. Oh. You did they feel him? Yes, I will feel him. You the film? Yes, yes. yes, boss. Girl, can you excuse me? I go, do, but, but take your bath first now. You know this way they do. I don't do the way you smoke when I smoke before. When I see my brother, they talk to a person, especially if a woman, I go come ask him for something. Say no, go talk to what people there. This is the way they see so now my, now my people look, Baba. Go and take your bath now. I go chow to ha. Go bath. Huh. <laughs> 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 He's enjoying that his company. Uh, can I go ahead? Can I go ahead? Yes, so, your do you know that your audience can actually be your distribution? But if you do two things, one is if you show up every time. Now, there's a psychological term for that. It's called the availability bias. Availability bias means that a lot of times people recommend you not necessarily because you are the best, but you are recommended because you are always available in their consciousness space. So when the opportunity comes up, because human beings, we don't like to burn brain power. Instead of to be thinking about somebody else, the name that is top of consciousness is you. <laughs> Boom! It comes into their consciousness and it's you that they refer. No, you don't hear me though. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Without sending a proposal, without making any sales call, without any cold call, I got job over a million naira last week from people that recommended me to people in their circle of influence. Because when they open their Facebook, I'm there. When they open their LinkedIn profile, I'm there. When they open their WhatsApp status, I'm there. When they open their Instagram, I'm there. When they open Instagram stories, I'm there. Question is, are you there? Are you there? Are you there? Or you are there sometimes. And then sometimes yes. you give up. Yes. He said, this there, why they there? Nothing they happen for the there. I beg, I beg, I beg, I cannot come and disturb myself. And then you give up. And a lot of times, the days that you don't want to be there, is the day that the angel of the opportunity is bringing it. 
<laughs> you know, Kenneth Hagin of Blessed Memory says something very powerful. And that quote has stuck with me for a long time. Here's what he said. He said, if you are willing to stand forever, you will not stand for a long time. No, you don't hear me. I don't think you heard that quote. I don't, did you hear that quote? You, you, you did feel him. You hear him. You hear him. He said, if you are willing to stand forever, you will not stand for a long time. First things first, your audience is your distribution channel. And the way the world is right now, everybody has an audience. There is nobody. I mean it. There is nobody that does not have an audience. Let me give you an example. This is a coffee Chemex. I use it to make coffee. I brought this so I can give you an example. I met this young northern lady that sells this thing on instagram one sunday i just saw her on instagram i sent her a dm she responded to me instantly and uh -uh. i big man picking self before you know i began to talk to her on i message she said she's not on twitter and she's not on whatsapp she's on i message and i message is only for iphones that's how i placed an order on sunday by wednesday thursday this product was in my house I have recommended her. The people that know me have bought from her. Why? Everybody now has an audience. It is important that you cultivate that. That is your first distribution channel. Number one. Number two. How else can you get a new customer? The second way through which you can get a new customer is what Detoro alluded to this evening. They invited her to go and speak at a conference. She said she sold one property, one product, and then she got a couple of stuff. All of you here listening to me, whatever you sell, you should be doing speaking engagements. Anything that you sell, anything, you should find platforms to speak. Why? Speaking in public does two things for you. A, it establishes you as an expert in your industry, in your niche, in your field of play. That is the first thing it does. And then number two, because when you are speaking to an audience, you will speak to a large crowd. Is it not so? Is it not so? You are casting your net on many waters. You never can tell who in that crowd will buy from you or who in that crowd will mark you and say, mm, I cannot buy from you, but I know of somebody that needs this thing that you're talking about. Give me your card. Give me your number. And if you nurture such relationships, it will begin to open doors for you. I'll give you an example. I went to speak at a conference once in a particular city in Nigeria that I shall not mention. As I was speaking, the excellency's wife of the of the of the of the city that i was speaking in walked into the hall and of course as i cited the person coming i increased the tempo of my speech i was more on fire i can't the ginger more i can't they manifest more <laughs> when i finished the person say he sent the person who be this young boy who be this young man that's how i got this person as a client if i did not go to do that speaking engagement there's no way I would have gotten that person as a client. So if you run a business, even if people don't invite you, you have an opportunity to do speaking engagement, which is doing live. You can go live now. You can go live. is a virtual speaking engagement. Oh. You see, don't wait for the world to pick you. Pick yourself. <laughs> The internet has given us a lot of tools now. If they don't pick you, pick you. Ah, pick yourself. <laughs> if nobody pick you, you pick yourself. Why? It was, it was doing Instagram live like this that a client saw me, gave me a one-year contract for sales training. I'm still doing that job today. It started since last year. Since last year, I'm on retainer with that client. It was on a speaking engagement, a virtual speaking engagement. 
whether you sell property, whether you sell clothes, there is nothing. In fact, right now, I tell you all the time, every business is now a teaching business. Every, for example, if I sell a coffee chemex like this or coffee cups or whatever, I will be doing live teaching people the right temperature, how to make the perfect cup of coffee, how to make the perfect cup of green tea. I will be teaching. I am telling you. As I am teaching, I am making an offer. As I am teaching, I am making an offer. As I am teaching, I am making an offer. That is another way through which you can create a new... Remember, Peter Drucker said it, that the purpose of a business is to create a new customer. Detoro, are you there? Yeah, Detoro, I'm here. are you there? Now, I'm here. the customer, you went to speak at a speaking engagement today, right? Yes, sir. After you finished speaking, somebody paid for your product, right? Yes, sir. So what you actually did was that you have just created a new customer because the customer was not in existence in your experience before. Mm -hmm. I'm with somebody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to create means to bring into ex existence that which was not in existence. Now, your vehicle of creation was your speaking engagement. Now, you don't hear me though. So if... If Detoro understands this principle and runs with it, she will be looking more for where she can give talks, both virtually and physically, while her other customer creation avenues are running. Am I talking to somebody? Because yes. if she can schedule and say every month, I want to be able to do at least three solid speaking engagements, you will see that speaking engagement is selling for her while her other channels are also selling. Because you should not have only one customer acquisition channel. You should have a variety of customer acquisition channel running all at the same time. No, you don't hear me though. I hear you, sir. <laughs> do you understand that for yes, example sir. for example even if you do real estate you can do the same thing you can do the same thing so that's number two number three what you can do is that you can create an item of value if you're in real estate i need you to listen to what i'm about to say to you right now one way that you can use to generate a new lead in real estate right now is to create an item of value and whether you're in real estate or not you can actually apply this principle So let us say you sell properties in Meitama. And you sell properties in Meitama. You can do like a little report and say, like a little PDF and say, 50 properties that you can buy for less than 80 million naira in Meitama. Click on the link on my Instagram bio or click on the link underneath this Facebook ad to access the report so but for them to do that they must drop their email address so you created a, an item of value but in exchange for that all you need was their email address and their phone number yes there will be some people who are crazy who drop their phone number and their email address but a lot of times you will get the kind of people that you should be doing business with filling that form and based on that you cannot pick up the phone and call them because they have qualified themselves. It is only a person that has like 80 million or 70 million that will fill that form. You can even put there, if you don't have between 50 to 80 million, please don't, feel, don't click this link. It is a way of segmenting the market. It is only those that click that link. Those are the people that you cannot call later on. If there are 50 that fill that form for you, if you call all 50 of them, nine times out of 10, at least maybe two may come for inspection. Of that two, maybe one may buy from you. Did you get what I just said? Did you get what I just said? Uh, who is that? Please mute yourself. Who be that? It's day through. It's day through. Okay, okay, okay. Are you guys getting value from, from this? Are you learning? Yes. Yes, yes I am. 
Good. So everybody can create an item of value. Now look at what happened today in this webinar. I wanted to do a free. This is a free. Where this is a free webinar. I wanted to do it for only people in my WhatsApp group. So I designed something on 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 uh, on on uh, on social media. I said that if you want to attend this webinar, you have, you have to put your email address there so that you can be subscribed to my newsletter. Now, all those people that subscribe to my newsletter today, I just created them as a potential customer. Why? Why? Because if they keep receiving this newsletter every week, nine times out of ten, one of them will subscribe and become a paying client. Who some of who some somebody just some of them just did for sixty dollars. So what did I do? I use this as an item of value to create a customer. Do you understand me? Nadia? Yes, yes, I do. You see the process, what I'm doing here. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Are you seeing it? Are you seeing the signal? Yes, because you know, you know, coach, I asked you, ask you a question about the link when you put it up. So I mm -hmm. I, I I get it now. It's very clear. Are, are you seeing the the intelligence yes, of I'm what, seeing the what link. Yes. I have yes. I have a friend in America that has yeah, five thousand subscribers, paying subscribers yeah, to, his, to his newsletter. Do you know how much one person pays for that newsletter? Do you know how much one no. person pays? A hundred dollars. No. One hundred dollars. That's over six hundred. Wow. Yes. So do the maths. And this uh, is the 600, 600. this is the philosophy. Yes, six hundred. If somebody pays, if one person pays a hundred dollars and he has five thousand people, you do the maths. That guy's a billionaire. Stop. That's a billionaire. <laughs> In Naira, that's a billionaire. Just newsletters. Oh yeah, just just newsletter that he writes. But are you seeing the intelligence of what I've done? Yes. This sir. is how I created these customers. Did you see what's going on here? Yes. Oh, yes. This is how this works. The brand doctor, your hand is up. Ask your question. Have you got a question, sir? The brand doctor, do you have a no, question? Sir, that, that was actually the first time you asked about how we should oh, okay, talk okay. about our day then. Okay, and okay. I raised my hand. I guess it hasn't cleared up since that time. Okay. So, Osla says, I now understand what you did. You must know, so that when you see somebody showing up, you know that on social media, it's not because he likes to hear his voice. It's an intelligence. Can I go on? So, you also want to know where is the channel oh, through yes, which so it's coming from. So, another thing was this, is that when my client, I told you that last week alone, people that referred me and got me business was over a millionaire. One of the clients that I got as a new client last week, the client says to me that after the person recommended you, I went to your LinkedIn profile and page and Instagram. The one went to my Instagram page. The other one went to my LinkedIn page. And the person says, so he said, I liked the quality of content that I saw. Are you seeing this now? So what happens that on offline business, you use online to solidify your profile. From the business that you got offline. No, you don't hear me though. Do you hear me what I'm just saying? Did you hear what I just said? Did you hear what I just said? So I think you need to reiterate. Please reiterate. Good. So I got two clients last week. Big money. Two of them said the same thing. That after you were recommended to us. One said, I went to your Instagram page. And I liked the quality of your content. That's why we gave you this job. One day I say I went to your LinkedIn page and I like the quality of your content. That's why we gave you this job. Are you seeing that? So, offline recommendation was strengthened by online activities. You the yeram. You the yeram. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, 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 those of you who take your internet business, pliply, when you when you post like you are led by the Holy Ghost, when you only post when you are happy, when you only post when you are in the mood, when you only post when you are happy, when you only post when you have a new air, when you only post when you have a new car, when you only post when you are in London, Dubai, Paris, when you only post when you don't post, you don't post when you are in your village, you don't post when you are not happy. 
the day that you get an opportunity and the client wants to check you out, what will they see? Your old post? <laughs> As I'm speaking to you right now, they are checking out some of you right now and nothing is there. May God help you. Amen. Can I go ahead? Yes, sir. Go Good. Yes, sir. The other, way, the other way through which you can get a new customer, you need to go to cool places. Go to cool places. Go to the nice gyms. Go to a good restaurant. Not Mama Put. Every time Mama Put, Mama Put, Mama Put. Only I make Kilimanjaro. I'm not the god of those kind of places. Once in a while, go to a correct restaurant. Dress up well. Strike up a conversation with somebody. Because the type of customers you are looking for, where do they go to? All this mama put, give me uh, 25 naira rice there. Hey, 100 naira meat there. Give me that pomo there. Give me that shaki there. Hey, 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 Change. 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 Go to a proper restaurant to eat. Strike up a conversation there. I'm currently doing a, comp a training for a company. Do you know where I met the person that gave me the job? Guess where I met the person? Guess where I met the person? Where, sir? I met the person in a high-profile coffee shop. In that coffee shop in Victoria, they sell one cup of coffee, two k, two thousand, one eight. Now I meet the person. I go meet the person. Dress up. You just don't give me work, eh? Over. And if I'm, I'm even doing one thing now. Why? But you know, say if you buy that coffee, three in one. You know that coffee they say three in one for fifteen naira. <laughs> that's true, boss. That's correct. You know, say if you buy that, you know, say if you buy that three in one coffee. <laughs> so na 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 because you have that three in one coffee there. Uh, try, pra, what's that? Pra, pra, coffee na coffee. <laughs> No. Make a sacrifice sometimes for where you are going to. So how many of you next week are going to make up your mind to go somewhere nice? In, in fact, what it does for you that it shatters your poverty thinking. That's what it does. Dress up well. Enter the place. Know that they need the bite person for you. It shatters your poverty thinking. It does. It shatters your, your poverty thinking. It does. Just go to that place. Take yourself a, take a nice picture. Sit down there. Dress well, oh. Don't dress anyhow. Dress well. Dress well. And then, um, let me pause here and ask some questions. What have you learned so far? I've learned that I dressing good and going out will shatter my poverty, <laughs> my, my poverty mindset. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, okay. I will put it to practice, so, uh. You know what you can even yeah. do, eh? You, you do not. You know what you can do, eh? You can even go to the restaurant, eh? A week or two weeks before the before the day you want to go, and go and make inquire on the menu. Okay. Mm. That's okay. Now this one, I'm not going to buy when I reach here. Do as you say. Now your boss send you. Eh? We are making inquiry for our company. Now you be the company now. We are making inquiry for lunch for our company members. <laughs> I want to I want to see the menu, the menu, the menu. You say, nah, yes, this one so. not twenty thousand. I don't want this one. Damn, I don't want this one. Eh? I think my boss will be comfortable with this one, with this level, with this level. And you now mark them. You know, mark, you go even take a picture from. You know, some of, some of the names are very big. Eh, 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 Bogolese, eh, eh, Purere Bogolese, Banana Bogolese. Eh, you know, gonna just take a picture. Bam. Then when you come in that day, you come dress for say, eh, please, can I have the can I have the potato Bogolese, please? That's just so you know what you need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! But when you go there, don't be quiet, oh. When you see somebody that can give you business, have the boldness to step in. Say hello. Learn your smile. Everybody say sixteen. 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 Hey. 16. Everybody does when they squeeze yeah. Say sixteen. <laughs> sixteen. 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 <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Oh my god, dude. Somebody said chai. <laughs> chai. Oh so my god. Sounds nicer. So it's a, it's a 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. It's 16. Can I go ahead? Can I go ahead? Yes, yes sir. Please. Now, just to add just to add a little bit of flesh to that thing that I talked about when I said create an item of value, there's a website that I recommend that all of you should check out. It's called Naira Land. I'm sure some of you know. It's called Naira Land. It's a very good website. It's a Nigerian website. People just go there and discuss different, different aspects about the country, from business to politics. Now, here's what happens. When you go to Naira Land, you will be hearing the predominant topics of Nigerians in each industry. So what you can do is that you can get content ideas from Naira Land. Am I talking to somebody? You they hear me so... So that you're not going to talk about Oibo put their type of content. Do you know that I've discovered something? The moment I began to be more of myself, when they enter my head, I go speak pidgin English. When they enter my head, I go shout. Do you know that? I get more clients. <laughs> oh, cool, cool. <laughs> you don't feel them? You yeah. don't feel them? <laughs> Nigeria no one for me now. That's why we didn't listen to Olami. They will never listen to Chris Brown. Nigeria no one for me now. That's why they watch our own movies now. You know understand? We want our mm -hmm. own, our own, mm -hmm. our own. Mm -hmm. You the film? Yes, sir. <laughs> hey! So go to Naira Land and see what people are discussing. You will thank me later. Say, coach, thank you. You will get content ideas. You will not lack content to write. Put your niche there. Put cooking there. You will see. Put uh, real estate. There, you will see. Put whatever. You will see. You will see. Can I go ahead? Yes, please. Can I go ahead? Yes, Next. Yes, please. Wait, yes, uh, you can get a new customer is what is in your WhatsApp status. You know, many people they, they underrate this thing called WhatsApp status. Now they carry WhatsApp status, take the play. Hey. Sir. Now they hmm. can't take the play. I know of a customer. Okay. I know of a customer that closed a two hundred thousand dollar property from WhatsApp status. WhatsApp status. What do you what do they put for your status? Your shoe. Your leg, your air, your car, your six Star. packs. You cannot get six packs. Right? I define the six packs. So you're not going to come more. Uh -huh. What did they put there? <laughs> <laughs> what, did they, what did they put there? Your shoe. Really? Why come in your WhatsApp start? There's no call to action, there's no click here. There's no send me information. They may not send. It's fine. But make sure you keep putting it there. They may not be the one that will recommend you. They may recommend you to somebody else. All right? So let me pause here again and really ask. Most of you have not spoken. I don't like to talk all throughout my classes. What have you learned today? And have you, and have you got any questions to ask? And was this class a blessing to you? As we go ahead. I'll still talk about two more or three more, then we'll close. Any other person? What have you learned today? I have a question, please. How come your name is iPhone? It's part of, you are part of the problem. Oh. You are part of the okay, problem. So you, go, you save your name as I iPhone. How, how are you going to market yourself? Your name now iPhone. Now you be Steve Jobs' brother. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sir. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I already learned that. Uh, like, um, initial right. talk. You, say, okay. you talked about speaking engagements. Uh, like a few months ago, I mm. had like a target of actually to speak at four events basically every uh, week, and that's that 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 played that well in my locality where we had to speak on branding and brand positioning, and that increased my because currently that period I was running a class on branding and branding businesses for success, and I got a ton of clients. But there was a part we actually got kind of confused. Do I do that regularly yeah. because most times if I'm having top meetings with my clients, I go to uh, restaurants to go and meet with them to, to talk about how they can better uh, increase their branding to get more customers. But you made mention yeah. of just meeting somebody in a high class restaurant and just talking with them. You see, at a point I sometimes I do cold calling too. Mm -hmm. So I, I actually most times people 
work with connection, right? So how do you introduce or start up a conversation with somebody? Maybe you go to a high class restaurant and spark, and spark up a conversation with a potential client. How do you spark it up? How do you start? A lot of those things, a lot of those things are contextual. Number one, you must dress well. Don't overdress well. You dress properly. Smell well, smell well. And as you sight the person coming with one eye, you know, say, this person, I like to have a conversation with this person. I don't know about the kind of restaurant that you go to, you know. I like coffee shops a lot. People that know me. Okay, sir, so, uh, in my location, uh, there are about two top uh, restaurants. We have Kilimanjaro. Or oh, even hotel, me. hotel, hotel. If there's no way, it can even be a good hotel in the lobby of the hotel. Okay, you know. Okay, and yes, just just, just walk up to the person, but wait, let the person settle down first. Have your line. Yes. You can practice it. You know, build yes, rapport sir. first. You smile, smile well. That's sixteen. Try them when they walk. Yes, sir. Because smile. this thing, this thing actually helped me out. Like during twenty eighteen, I was running. Uh, I'm also a web designer, so I was actually working with. Uh, I, I I was trying out something, right? So. I okay. gave myself a target of like 10 websites within two months because what I did was that I tried I like that. to, I dressed up, I went to hotels, businesses, and I tried to track my progress. And I saw that I, I actually built websites for top top brands, almost all the whole top brands in, 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 in OA. That, wow. But then th that, that happened because I actually stepped on, and you know, one thing is also confidence. I was so confident about yes, it yes. when they yeah, talked about size I have built and walked with them. And they, they didn't even ask much questions. They just stepped out their plans and I did it for them. And awesome. that was very, very powerful. But it's just that I, I will start working on because currently I, served, I started up a project, and that project was to uh, work with brands, one on one, top brands actually, in terms of actually increasing their sales and visibility true branding okay. and brand positioning right okay. so but uh, am i now looking to this whole issue of now meeting these top people at the restaurants or in yeah. their uh, in, in the hotel another Thank thing you. that you can do is that another thing i do another thing i do you can even role play it you can tell your brother at home or your cousin or your mom your not your dad your dad now what do you, what do you mean by this you can tell your mom that mom Mom, I'm going out for marketing. You know, I want you to pretend to be like the customer and I will be like the salesperson. So I yes, just talk to you. And since you're a guy, you must know how to charm women. You must be charming to women. Very <laughs> That's important. my problem. <laughs> exactly. No, we're not saying that you should um, toast them. You must, women yes. like, I don't know how to put it. You dread, they, you be the kind of guy that a woman wants to be around. It's like yes. you're, you're not flirting, but you're just charming. I have that. I know how to do that a lot. A lot. Smile. They will like you. Make them laugh. Oh my God. That's true. That's true sir. <laughs> Make them laugh. Smile. But know your job. Hmm? And practice that. And just practice your one. Oh, you know they practice at the toast game. You know toast game before. They practice that. You know, you know practice that. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. That's true. That, that, that's true, sir. Because you see, you have to make people like you. Women must like you. Yes, sir. dress well you know make them be like the kind of brother they want to hang out with the kind yes, of sir. boyfriend they want to show a lie like this is my client he's my client he does all our website oh he's so good oh. hey he's our <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> you have to do it too because i'm telling 90 percent of my clients are women wow. most people that most people have given me my biggest job they are women i tell you i tell you if women are not like you, you're in trouble. Don't be, I'm, wow. a, I'm a man. I'm a macho man. I'm a man of God. <laughs> I'm a man. <laughs> 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 then go to run. <laughs> Next. Thank you, sir. I, I, I like your spirit. You're very, very insane. Are you in my WhatsApp group? You should join our group, man. I like men like you. Okay, we need sir, more men, how, oh. how do I join that, sir? I'm... I click on the link on my Instagram bio. Right now. Pay for the six-month plans. 20K. In fact, okay, I, I already like you. Well, let me give you a discount. Pay, 20, pay 18K. Six months. If you are serious, tell me yes, because I dropped my account number. Nah, nah, nah. Join the group. Nah. I like this guy. I want to help you. I'll coach you. Call me. If you join. Okay. <laughs> Next. Yes, if, you see, if you are serious, say coach. Drop your account number and I'll pay. Nah. Oh, more blow this business for you. Next. More questions, please. I want question. No. Oh, no one asked me a question. 
Hi, Bridget. Bridget, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Bridget, let me pronounce your name the way they pronounce your name, worry. Bridget. <laughs> 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 you were saying that uh, we should say some of the things we have learned yes what have you yeah learned? so yeah you said um we should learn to create an item of value yes create an and item ask of value. for emails and let me give numbers. you a framework to create an item of value ask yourself what is what is, what, what what is the thing that i know that my customers don't know and if they know it it will help them make their lives better that's an item of value it's yeah. a simple framework don't need to go and think twice. What is it that I know that is normal to me that my customers don't know? But if they know it, it will make their lives better. For example, if I sell air, if I'm a woman, one thing that you know, you know how to maintain your air so that it lasts longer. An item of value can be five ways to maintain your air in this festive period. Number one, when you come back from work, clean it with water. Number two, dry it in the sun. Number three, add salt to it. Number four, keep it well. I'm just thinking of my head. That's an item of value. You know why you don't put an item of value out? Because to you, if you're like, nah, normal, normal, nah, no, to do somebody else, it's not normal, normal. It's not normal, <laughs> normal. That's why people miss it. See, everybody knows it, and that is your problem. This everybody knows it is a problem to men of honor. Yes, sir. Uh, me, the, everybody, it, 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 it there to come. On to like add, add things. That's why some people like to follow God, because God is easy. When they say jasmine, rub red things, rub feather, that one they like. God way they easy, then they like them. Okay. <laughs> Bridget, I hope this was valuable to you. Yes, yes, it is. Thank you. Somebody else. Necker. So, <clears throat> Necker. Hi, Necker. Coach, I learned that you're Hello. offline. Okay. No, let the, no. Good evening, Coach. Hi, Neka. Good evening, Neka. One of my one of my wife one of my wife's very good friend. Her name is Neka, so we call her Nikki. Oh, fantastic! Nikki. That's <laughs> so, my Wait. question to you, Coach, is: um, I sell an app, and okay. I'm wondering how would I create value for um, content value to be able to um, create an item of value? You called it to okay. get emails and and um phone numbers i sell an, an app that teaches children or teach children african languages to help oh, them good. in their language journey okay okay good. um I'm, I'm thinking off the top of my head right now so you've got an okay. app that teaches children how to speak african languages yes it helps them in their language um journey you have um which this, african language do you have there Igbo. yes we have Igbo, europe Hausa. those three for now good so an item of value can be this you know how the chinese they're actually like the biggest economy right now in the world and the okay. chinese man will speak his mandarin for you big time of course big time so what are the benefits of losing our natural language you need to agitate the customer put fear in them a little bit of fear what are the five disadvantage of your children not being able to speak the three major major language in this country it has yeah. disadvantages it does yes it does it does i live in lagos and i know i can tell you for free it does so build an item of value around that that is if you say these are the disadvantages and the advantages of your children being able to speak the three major languages it opens doors for them i'm telling you for for, for free it does all right so if you put a okay. simple item of value like that okay maybe these are the 10 steps but number fifth step my company helps your child to learn this in 90 days hmm. <laughs> wow 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 <laughs> that is it so you must connect your item of value to you okay you must Thank you, connect sir. your item of value back to you I hope this was useful to you, Necker. Incredible. Thank you. Thank you very much. Who's next? Somebody was speaking before Necker was speaking. So who's that person? Can you speak, please? When I know what asked me a question, Abi. When I know what asked me a question, Abi. Abi, after that, you go pay. Hey. Hmm. Any more questions, please? That means you understood everything that you heard today, right? I'm seeing a raised hand there. Okay, Davidson. Davidson, go ahead. Davidson, go ahead. 
above so, yeah. mandate. Go ahead, yeah, go ahead, yeah. Yeah, good evening, sir. Good evening, good evening everybody. Good, good evening, sir. Yes, sir. Um, I you talked about getting audience, like getting leads from let's say your social media account, which is the audience, like posting, being yeah. being able to show up every single time. Yeah. Now I wanted to ask, is there a way you can or how do you manage the social media accounts? Because I know for sure you only do Instagram, like more of Instagram. Okay. And is there a way you can like separate it okay let's say you have tiktok you have instagram you have facebook mm -hmm. how do you manage all those accounts and like generate leads okay so i think you start with the one that you get traction from i'm i'm strong on instagram um linkedin is building up because i just got a major client from linkedin last week or we can say this because tomorrow is sunday twitter Twitter and my newsletter. Many people don't know, but I take my newsletter very, very seriously. And I get leads from there. Seriously. I've, I've got close to 7,000 people in my newsletter. The free version. There's a paid version as well. So those are the four major ways that I get leads. But then, I also knock on doors physically. As in sending proposals and all that. Right now, I'm saying that for all of you to know. I manage my social media myself for now i because i enjoy it i respond to dms like this i manage those things myself now so i'm not strong on tiktok yet and then i'm building my youtube because i've got over a thousand subs, subs now on youtube I'm, I'm putting out a new video on youtube now when i look at the analytics i see that a few people sign up to my stuff from youtube so i'm taking youtube very, very, um, seriously. We are living in the area of the sovereign individual. You need to go and Google that thing. The sovereign individual is the individual that no country government can hold down. No country government can hold you down as a sovereign individual. You should work on that now. This is the era of the individual. You must build your fortress and the moat of your personal brand. It's critically important. I hope this. Right, thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Mr. Davidson. Above mandate, you have a question. Please go ahead. <clears throat> Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Good evening, coach. Is above mandate your name? Uh no, but it's like a business name. Now, Davidson and everybody, apart from Neka, I noticed that when some of you introduce yourself, you didn't tell us what you do. That's not the way to introduce yourself in public. Though. Because you may be losing an opportunity here. You don't know who's watching or listening. Trust me. You don't know. So oh, okay, so day. sorry, sir. I'm so mm -hmm. sorry, sir, no for problem. that issue. No. I'm actually in Nemeka Clinton. I'm a okay. brand strategist. I work hand in hand with businesses and individuals to uh, actually uh, create out marketing strategies that can either lead to increase in sales or increase in their visibility Fantastic. online and, and offline. That's cool. So above mandate, go ahead. Okay. Uh, my name is Chinenye Okoro. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, my son is just pulling me up and down. Okay. Okay, let me introduce myself. I sell uh, UK used and new items. I actually based in the UK. So you have a vintage some... store? Yes. Like a uh, vintage store. And that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the okay what my question which i asked uh, uh the chat box i was my question is for most of us or uh, for those who are in another country and has nigeria as their target market how do we put in place some of these um uh yeah. strategies you dropped this night how do we because here i don't even know my neighbor <laughs> i don't even know my neighbor and uh, it's you know it's not every time you go out that people even smile at you you, mm. you understand so it, which is why uh kind of hard to say okay let me build my business around nigeria where i know people are looking for quality but at a discounted price mm -hmm. so i so how do we do it how are we going to push out how do no. we get people to to know for more you, about for you for you all i'm thinking at the top of my head right now is distribution 
wholesalers. Those, yes, I'm thinking wholesalers, distribution. Okay. okay. I'm also uh, thinking about you doing a lot, a lot of behind the scenes on Instagram. Okay. I know, I know of a guy that has a vintage store in New York. Oh, He's doing oh. so well. It's called Crowley. Can right you now, spell, right can now, you spell? Uh, Crowley spelled C R O W L E Y. Right now, madam, I'm looking for vintage teacups for coffee. Those vintage okay. teacups. I am actual. I actually googled search today on on Instagram. I need uh, find in Nigeria. Uh, let's do now. I'm even in your I sales. Need, I, I'm I in your sales group too. Good. So I'm looking for vintage. Um, yeah. I'm tired of this new new stuff. Vintage old. You know those ones that I was using. Yeah. This yeah. They have I love the 60s. Good. I want those vintage clothes. Yeah. I, I can't find them. Uh, coach, let's talk now. You're just Good. smiling. Let's Good. Do so <laughs> you, you need to do a lot of behind the scenes. Okay. So that's to show people. And that's what Crowley did. He sells me classic menswear. And the guy is doing so well. Another vintage store you should check out is their base in South Africa. It's called Ifuku. The guy does a lot of behind the scenes as well. He show you the t-shirt, the jean shirt. The copy, we even put a little bit of history. Say this this type of cup, Winston Churchill used to use a lot of this type of cup. So he, so he made us, people want to say, click on this, he buy, buy. That's how he used to sell. Oh. And they tell you. So you have to get ready for this work. Behind the scenes, a lot of videos, and that will help you a lot. Mandate, send me a WhatsApp message now. I need a vintage tea cup. You got a okay. new customer. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Something. And I also want I also want a goose a goose a goose uh, a goose nose kettle. So I, I just got my Kimex. I want a okay. goose nose kettle and I want a vintage teacup for a start. Let's talk. Okay. Talk to me. I know that you are in the UK and I have something special for you. Go ahead. Okay. Next. What's up immediately after this class? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Who wants to say something? If nobody no, okay. has a question, yes, sir. You I, I want to make a contribution. Sure, go ahead. Make a contribution. Okay. okay. So, to the person that has the thrift shop and vintage thing you go in, yeah. I think you have a huge market out there, but you're not reaching out. Mm. So many people, UK has um, classic big stuff that lasts, you know, and now with the whole COVID and all the thing going on, you can, you know, you, what you could do, like Coach said, behind the scenes stuff, sell yourself, show who you are. Mm. You know, show people what they have, like children's play stuff. A exactly. lot of things you can actually sell. Exactly. Things you can sell, really. And exactly. if they print one, it's going to be discounted. And people, because like sometimes you buy stuff for your kids, they just use it for three months and they, they've grown past it. Ah, that's a, that's a good point. That's a good point. And Educational so, toys, great books, toys. other series. You know, yes, you know, not. Use me as a brand ambassador. Use me. I'm usable. Use me. Use me. I'm Sorry, go ahead. Maybe, I don't know if some of us are in Coach's WhatsApp group. They're not going to join now. I joined two days ago. Coach, tell me your WhatsApp group now. This is Detoro talking. I know, I know, I know. But someone is talking yeah. data before you let the person finish. She was she was giving Sorry. more more highlights. Yeah, so go ahead, ma'am. I do I I I'm saying because I do a lot of UK. I, I prefer to buy UK stuff than America stuff, you mm. know. So I do a lot of UK stuff and like even for the guys, like my son, by the time you buy those quality stuff, they don't even spoil. And most times you want to. Okay, take for example, I did a yacht sale. You can do an online yacht sale. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. You know, and then you just sell off. It's not just piling them up there. Yes. People, you can even reach out to other other women in UK and gather their stuff. Awesome. And you're at, at little or nothing. And people are willing to buy. All you can do is just to have people, like, like Coach said, distribution channels, you know, people yes. that can have your... Once they know you're in UK, it's authentic. That's it. It's authentic. authentic. They'll buy it. Can I add something? Can I just add something to it? This is so beautiful. Is this Neka that is talking? Who is talking? Who has been talking now? Who they talk since? Who they give us this advice? Mm -hmm. Huh? It's Elsie. Hey! Hey! Mama! Elsie. Hey! 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 Okay, now. This is our sister. Above mandate. Do you know that now on Instagram, you can do a private Instagram live? Do you know? Yes. 
good. So you can do something and say, I'm doing a yard sale at a discount for only 100 people, for example. You want to use the law of scarcity. Sign up. And it's on Instagram, but it's private Instagram. Those people who sign up, now they're going to show everything. You're going to show them everything. They're going to share them like that. That's also another idea of something that you can do. I think this is good. Madam, don't give me free consultation. No. Free. Oh. Hey. Oh, yeah, go, and give me, go and give me that my vintage couple. Oh. <laughs> that okay. could be brand, brand ambassador for you. Hey, hey. So, like I do for this woman. No. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah, oh. Let's go. No problem. Somebody's hand is up. Whose hand is up again? I think everybody has answered their question. Was this class useful to all of you today? Yes. Was that of value to you people today? Oh, yes. Praise yes, God. good. All right, so let me add one more, uh, uh, two more stuff uh, to this, and then we'll call this a wrap for today. Of course, somebody said cold call. Go to networking. Church, some of you are in churches. Nobody knows what you do. And that's the problem. Some of, you, some of you in your estate, self, your estate people don't even know what you do. Your neighbor don't know your work. Is it that you're ashamed, though? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the last one you should have been the first one but you have to pray you have to call these people who, ah, I do that too call them forth I'm a big advocate of that write their names down call them forth speak words because words have power it's an energy any energy you release out into the atmosphere this the, the similarity of that energy must come back to you. It is a law. It is a law. It must come back to you. If you speak it, it's a law. Thank you, everybody, for coming. <clears throat> God bless you. Thank you, Coach. Let us pray. I always Thank you, Coach. My class. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very insightful class. Well done, always. All right, let's pray. Can we pray? Is, are you okay to oh. pray? Not this world now, they're very divisive. Some put the verse if you call prayer. No, very I good. Ask for permission, no. You may not just say, hey, you are imposing your religion on us. You are imposing your religion on us. We are the woke generation. We are woke. We are woke. Hey! Coach, Coach, Eh? Can I go good. ahead? Yes, sir. Uh, say, hey, post your generation on us. We are woke <laughs> in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we thank you tonight. We give you praise and glory for all that you've done for us. You know, I told, my children, I told some people today, I said, <laughs> at least you, you can see, Nabi. You don't chop. If you move around, you have your sanity. You have not lost your sanity. Are you grateful to the Lord? And Father, we thank you tonight. We give you praise and glory for all that you have done for us. You are our example. You are our life. You are everything to us. For in you we live, in you we move, and in you we have our being. Our sustenance is in you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We are dependent on you. You are everything to us. You are, the, Bible, hey, the Bible is speaking about how they use a regiment to beat this man. They beat Jesus up. They put a crown of chuku chuku on his head. He did not respond to them. Because of it. Because why? God loves you. You are loved. You are not alone. You are not ordinary. The savior of the world, he died for you. You are special. You are special to God. The Bible said, he that did not spare his own son, how can he not freely give you all things? Ha! Ah! For in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We give you praise and glory. For everybody who has listened to this life, I declare it is, it is well with their household. It is well with their businesses. Lord, you know, I prayed for them this morning. I prayed for them this morning. I prayed for them early this morning. I declare it is well with their businesses. It is where customers are coming to you from the east, from the north, from the south, from the west. In the name of Jesus, you will not lack ideas. You will not like I did. The magnetism of the Spirit is upon you. This December, you will celebrate big time. Celebrate big time in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And the children of God said a very, very big amen. And the people said, 
Amen and amen. Amen. All right, I'm unmuted. You can say your good night. You can say you have a good evening. You can say hello. Thank you, you can good night. To everybody. Thank you, good night. Thank you, good night. Thank you, good night. Thank you for being a part. Thank you, everyone. And I will drop the I will drop the replay on our WhatsApp group to, tomorrow. Awesome. Thank, thank you. you. Drop thank the replay you so tomorrow. Much. So much. Thank, thank you, coach. Thank you, coach. Oh yeah, thank you. thank you. Good night. If If you're not in the WhatsApp group, please send me a message on whatsapp i said i want to on instagram so i want to join the group. Send me a dm okay sure let me put my whatsapp number now my whatsapp right, number thank you god bless you i appreciate right. the only coach that prays after training god bless you <laughs> thank you so much thank you so much so here's my whatsapp you can actually send me a dm on instagram i respond to all my dms Send me a okay. DM. Right, Send me a then. DM. Debbie, are you here? I know you sent me a message. I'm not responding to you. Debbie, are you here? Debbie, are you here? <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you very much. God bless you. Coach, thank you so much. I'll see you on the other side. Yeah, send me a DM. Let's go. Boom, 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 boom. Madam, go on. Give my tea couple. Go on, give my vintage tea couple. I didn't beg you. Hey, make that market too. <laughs> Bye.